Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is like an unboxing of my new sound system. Um, how this all came about is I didn't really know what to get myself for Christmas. Uh, for you guys who are following me, uh, you'll know that last year this time for Christmas I got myself this uh, PC case, this gaming chair that I'm sitting on, mouse, keyboard and so on. So I didn't really know what I wanted to get this year. Now, uh, what I normally do is I put my laptop on the TV or through the TV on the HDMI and then we watch uh, Netflix or so on from the laptop to the TV. But as you guys know, the TV sound isn't all that great. So I was wondering, maybe I should get a sound bar this year. Then I started doing some research into sound bars and uh, prices wise. So I discovered that to get a decent soundbar, you need something with a sub. A soundbar on its own sounds okay, but it's not the best sound quality that you want. And for me, my personal preference is bass. I need a lot of bass, nice treble, nice balance, clarity, that kind of stuff. So checking out the soundbars, I found that if you want something decent like an LG or Samsung with a Bluetooth and HDMI inputs and outputs as well as a wireless sub, you're looking at about four grand for a 150 watt, 200 watt soundboard. Make it a 150 watt soundboard. For the better ones, you're going to pay obviously more, up to 7,000 rand, which obviously is not money that I'm going to spend. Now, I already have the speakers in my living room. So I thought, why do I want to get a soundbar if I can get something better for cheaper? So I went to the place where I always buy my amps. And this is the first time I bought an amp in 15 years. So I settled for this one. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Introducing the old amp. So you're probably wondering why do I get another amp if I already had one? Well, this amp has a blown channel. The left side channel is not working. But as you can see, this was a 180 watt amp. Um, straightforward DJ amp. I bought this in 2005 with the speakers that I have that I used to DJ with because as you guys know I, I used to DJ until my equipment busted and I didn't have money to actually repair it so I'm not doing it anymore. These are the speakers that I have. It's the Dixons, uh, 15 inches, two of them at the bottom. Then it's got two horns and the four tweeters. It's basically a 300 watt speaker. So uh, yeah, that's the setup. So I went for this nice Dixon slim and flexible HDMI cable because I wanted to uh, play my laptop through the amp through the TV. As you guys can see it's compatible or supports 180p and 4K. It's gold plated so I'm sure this cable will work perfectly. And here we are. Dome Theater's round sound receiver AV3399 Dixon. Got HDMI of Bluetooth, FM radio, USB, SD card slots, dual mic inputs. So it's got everything you need, man. So even tuner. So it's got HDMI. The only thing is it doesn't tell me what version of HDMI it is. Then it's got 5.1 surround sound if I wanted it. Of 50 watts plus 50 watts. And then your 15 watts, 15 watts, 15 watts, whatever. But I sold my center speaker. So I don't use the 5.1 surround sound at the moment. But if I want it, I've got the feature. Something that a soundbar doesn't have. Um... And then if you guys, you can read there on yourself, um, it's really not complicated, straightforward. So the first thing you get in the box, obviously, is the instruction manuals, which is a bit poorly set together because, like I said, it doesn't even show you the specs of the, the amp. And uh, opening it up, you get your plastic cover that it comes into and the remote control. I'm making it quite straightforward and easy to operate. And uh, there we go. That's what it looks like out of the box. Nice. 
So you've got your separate settings for your mics, mic 1, mic 2, you can set your echo treble and so on, you've got your bass and treble there, you've got your functions, and as you guys can see, you've got three inputs, HDMI, one output, you can also put a DVD player, you can put your surround sound AC3 input, you've got your main channel as well as an aerial cable, and your surround sound ports for your left, right, front, right, center speakers, back speakers, and so on and so forth. This is a 220 watt amp, which is stronger than the one I had, and also stronger than the soundbar I could have gotten for the same price. And it really sounds good. It uh, really sounds perfectly. Obviously, I cannot play what I was playing because of copyrights. Also, look at the display. Look how crisp and clear the display is. Playing Baby Shock for the kids there, from the laptop, through the HDMI, through the amp, onto the TV. And I'm not worried about 4K because I only have an old plasma TV. One thing I have noticed is that every speaker has got its own volume setting. Front right volume, subwoofer, front left volume, and also your main volume. So this thing can really play loud. You can choose between 2.1 channel, 5.1 channel, and um, yeah, if I boost the speakers, all the speakers up to max volume and then even push the main volume higher, it can play even louder than it's necessary, or louder than I actually require. So it's clear. It's got nice bass, it's got nice volume, and there we are, that's what it looks like. So yeah guys, that's it. So it depends on, on what you need, on, on your preferences. If you already have speakers, rather go for this amp, or for any amp, that's half the price of a soundbar. Sounds excellent, it's got a built-in tuner and everything, and uh, it's even stronger than what a uh, soundbar of the same price would cost you. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And um, also remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my future uploads. Otherwise I'll load stuff up and you'll never even know it's there. I have a couple of projects lined up, it just depends on the cash flow, but there's some interesting stuff going to happen. I'm going to start fixing that BM of mine. I need to replace uh, a water line and a flange on the engine. I had to take off the entire air intake manifold to get to the problem. So you want to know how I fixed it or if I even get it fixed, you have to stay tuned. Till next time guys, cheers.